to show you how you can create finished good items with simple manufacturing and a demand forecast in Dynamics 365 Business Central. First, let's take a look at an item that I set up for this demonstration. This is the item I'm going to be using. Let's go down the replenishment area here. We can see that this is a production order item. That's how I get it. I'm not purchasing it. I'm going to create a production order to create this finished good item. And down here I have a bill of material. Let's take a quick look at that. I've got several component items on here. In this demonstration, I'm not going to use a routing, but you could put one in if you want it. I also put a simple demand forecast into the system. Let's take a look at that. It's for this one item here. So let's open this up. I want to look at it by month. And I'm putting a filter on there for the location as well. I'm going to go into the detail here and filter on this one item. Here you can see the monthly forecast I have in my system. This goes out through 2020. So the next thing I want to do is create a planning worksheet for this. So this is a blank planning worksheet. I'm going to prepare that by regenerating the plan. I'm going to do that MPS first, and then I'll go back and do the MRP. I'm also going to select the forecast that we were just looking at, and then run the process. And the results are this one item here. This is the LS100. So this is the item that we're going to produce. I scroll over to the right here. You can see that the MPS is suggesting that I create an order for 150 items. Go back here. It's already marked to accept the action message. So I can go ahead and process that, carry out the action message. And what this is going to do is going to create a firm plan order in my system. So now that that order is in there, what I want to do is also run the MRP process to make sure I have all the items in a timely manner to actually create this item. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to prepare, regenerate the plan. And this time I'm going to select MRP and the sales forecast again. My system is suggesting all these purchases. If you scroll over to the right again, you can see that it's recommending purchases. I'm just going to select all of these for the product that I'm interested in. These here have been selected already because they're more timely, but I'm going to select all the remaining quantities as well. We'll go ahead and create a purchase order for that. Again, I'll go up to the process, carry out the action messages. In this case, it's going to create the purchase orders. So let's go ahead and do that. So the next thing I'd like to do is take a look at the purchase orders that were just created. Let's go to purchase orders, and it's this one right here. So if I click on that, see I have all the items from the planning worksheet were added to this purchase order. I'm going to go ahead and receive an invoice this, put an invoice number in here, and then post it. Now let's take a look at that firm plan production order that was created. I can see that right down here. Let's click on that. Here's the order. So currently this is a firm planned order. And what I want to do is I want to release this order. So I'll go to process, change status, change it to released. Now you can see that firm planned order moved over to the released order. And now let's assume that all the production has been done on this order and it's time to finish this up. Let's go into that order. Here's the order right here. And what I want to do then is finish this order by going to the production journal and posting that. So now I want to create the production journal to finish this order. Let's go to more options here. Go down to the line, go to the production journal. Here's the production journal. And this is correct. I had 150 output quantity. So I'm just going to go ahead and post this. And now I'm ready to finish this order. So I'll go to process change the status, change it to finished here. It's already marked. Click on yes. And now the order is finished. I created the finished good items that had several components. It released those components in a backflush method when I finished up that production order. Let's take a look at it. We can go back to this finished production order here. And the statistics here that can be looked at any time during the life of the production order will tell you exactly what's happening at that point in time in the order. Here, this is a very simple order, very simple product. You can see the standard cost, which was based on the bill of materials. 
and the expected cost, and then the actual cost. And that's the whole process. I create an item with a simple bill of materials. I put that item into a demand forecast. I created planning sheets for the CPS and the MRP. I looked at the purchase orders and the production orders coming out of that process. And then I walked the production order through the process to finish up the order.